Welcome back to Spoiler Street. In this video, I will be discussing Coronation Street spoilers for episodes between the 20th and the 24th of February. Coming up next week, we will see Maria being a supportive friend to David when she finds him alone and drunk in Victoria Gardens. David is still upset after his son Max received his six month sentence and Maria tries to comfort him, but it seems that David will mistake Maria's kindness for something more and in his drunken state, he tries to lean in to kiss her. Maria is clearly annoyed with David and pushes him away, telling him to go home and sober up. This leaves David feeling embarrassed and regretful of his actions. Alia returns back to work at the solicitor's office alongside Dee Dee and Adam, where she meets a new client named Jaden. But Alia soon becomes enraged as she learns their new client is being accused of stabbing someone. Alia is annoyed that they are even thinking about defending someone accused of a stabbing and confronts Jaden. Alia will tell him all about her experience of recently being stabbed by Blake, as it's clear she is still feeling the trauma of her recent near-death experience. Later on, Alia will go to visit Max at the detention centre to show that despite everything that has happened, people still care about him. Max seems in an emotional way as he is clearly having a tough time adjusting to life inside and he's starting to regret ever associating with Griff and his gang. Steven is still determined to be in control of the factory so he decides to spike Carla's drink again. Almost immediately, Carla starts to become unwell again and from the outside it looks like she is having another episode. Peter seems extremely concerned and decides now is the right time to call a doctor. I wonder if the doctor will discover that she has been spiked with LSD. But later on in the week, it seems Stephen's plans haven't worked as Carla announces to him that she's ready to return back to work. Stephen of course tries to talk her out of it, saying that her mental health should come first and that she should take some more time off. But I wonder if Carla will listen, or will Stephen have to find another way to keep her away from the factory? Spider will visit Griff in prison, with the intention of getting some more information out of him. Spider proposes the idea to Griff, that if he reveals his gang's sources of funding, he could help get his prison sentence reduced. But I wonder if Griff will decide to do the right thing and work with the authorities, or will he still be silent on his criminal activities, even if it means a longer sentence? Daisy is still receiving texts from her stalker Justin, and decides to go back to the police to try and get any kind of help. But she's left disappointed as they don't seem to be taking her allegations very seriously. But later, Daisy will see Justin hanging around Weatherfield with a bouquet of flowers. Presuming that the flowers are another gift for her, she proceeds to throw them on the ground and trample all over them. But it seems that Daisy has made a mistake this time, as the flowers were actually for Justin's mother who has recently passed away. In the heat of the altercation, it seems Justin must have placed a hand on Daisy, which pushes Daisy over the edge and causes her to lash out by throwing a punch at him. After this, Justin will get the police involved by accusing Daisy of assault, as it seems her moment of anger has made things even worse. 